If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my May TBR. So the books I am hoping to read during the month. Also, as always, for this year, every month, I am choosing a different challenge to try and attempt and most likely fail. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but seriously, I've had some ups and downs with my challenges this year so far, but we are being positive and I'm announcing what it is for the month of May. Are we ready? For the month of May, I will be attempting to finish all my freaking TBRs and all my freaking challenges, all the books I started and did not finish. So basically it's gonna be like a catch up month. Uh, I will probably try and do at least one vlog that will be a like reading my pile of shame, which if you don't know, my pile of shame is this big pile of books that I started then put down for no reason and never finished them. Sometimes it's been years and it's just, still not happening. Uh, I did start a bunch of books that I wasn't able to complete in the month, especially of February, because every week I was trying to read a different genre, so I had to put down whatever I was reading to, you know, switch. So uh, a few of these books are from there. Actually, let go, let's go with that first. Uh, I have two in the sci-fi category because of it. The first one was 2001, A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. I have been meaning to read this series this book, well, it is technically serious, but I've been meaning to read this classic sci-fi forever because I love sci-fi. I've been trying to, you know, go back to the, the roots. And so far, uh, Arthur C. Clarke is a pretty, you know, stable author for me. Usually I'm enjoying uh, the content mostly. So uh, yeah, definitely a book that everyone wants me to read and that I put down at, how many pages was I at? 47 pages or something. So I'm, hardly into it, but it's a short book. There's like 230 pages. So I can definitely finish this this month. And so far I was enjoying it. Although the first part was interesting. I just started a second part. So we'll see how that goes too. But yes, book number one, I need to read because it is currently on the pile of shame. Uh, the second one I was showing is Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. I did uh, listen to that mostly as an audiobook, which I am on the waiting list at my library. I have access to it pretty much anytime I want. So I am going to be able to continue. I believe I was about a hundred and something pages into it. That's where I put <laughs> my bookmarks. I'm assuming it's around the right spot. I think it was at like, tw is it 20%? Is that possible? Probably not because there are over 500 pages. So uh, I'm hoping to continue this one. It's super popular. I do have book three and four, but not book two on my shelf. That's just what happens when you buy <laughs> your books used. You forget which one you have, you buy a second time the third one, and then, yeah. But I mean, if I enjoy the audiobook, I can always continue like that for a second book since I will not go outside and try to find a second book. So uh, yes, so far I was enjoying it. I'm looking forward to binge reading the whole thing since there are like what, like seven or eight books at this point because I want to also watch a TV show. So gotta read the book first. And this was obviously also on my pile of shame. So uh, another one that I started and have yet to finish. I was trying to do a vlog of it because I did it for the first book and then just never really did. <laughs> Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. This is book two in the Throne of Glass series. Like I said, I did a vlog uh, really complaining while reading it. <laughs> and I was trying to do it with this one, but I don't feel like I had that many really strong issues because frankly, not a lot happens, but I am at 282. So I have about, I don't know, like 130 pages left. So really, what are you doing? Um, finish it so you can remove it from the pile of shame and then decide if you want to keep going with the series or just admitting defeat. I know that people really enjoy it, but I'm just kind of, I feel like not a lot happens to compensate for my issues. I understand that they're very readable and I am interested in some side characters more than the main character, but is it really enough to balance the rest? One more book that I started this year and I have yet to finish is this one, which is The Dark Forest, which is book two after uh, The Three Body Problem, which I adored. Stirred this one, uh, had a bunch of issues with it. The audiobook returned at 55%. Now I'm currently reading that one, at, well, as an audiobook, listening to it. Uh, it's definitely not the best way to do it. Definitely would recommend instead of sticking to the physical book because it is really complicated. It's a hard sci-fi that is very, very science-based. With that said, uh, I started it that way, so I'm having a hard time switching slash I've been struggling to finish books clearly this year. So audiobook is usually the way I can push through whenever I'm struggling. So 
this needs to happen. So I believe those four are the main ones that I started this year and I have yet to finish. I do have more books on my pile of shame that I will probably try to do a different challenge, uh, redo that challenge more like uh, in a different uh, part of the year. Or maybe, again, I am planning on doing at least one vlog of that uh, this month. So maybe I'll decide to pick up something else. But right now the goal is definitely to try and finish some of the ones I started this year, which I think is it for now. Although I do have some on my library waiting list, which I just realized uh, there is one more that I technically started last year, but we're gonna just pretend because it's still pretty recent. Uh, and it is Wanderers by Chuck Wending. I was very excited for this one. It's a really, really chunky book. Uh, I got it twice from the library and now I'm waiting for the third time. It's a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic book. And I, I'm, I, I, at this point, I feel like I probably should just DNF it, but I am a very stubborn person and damn it, I will finish you. So that is definitely uh, another one on my list for this month. For the rest, uh, these are books that I included in past uh, TBRs and the ones that I really, 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 really want to finish because I included actually a lot of these in my TBR last month, which were, uh, my challenge was basically to try and read books that I thought I was going to give five stars to. So obviously I'm very interested in reading them. A lot of them are also part of my 20 books I want to read in 2020. So we're not torturing ourselves the whole month. Like I feel like this is going to be torture enough, although I'm enjoying these two. So really torture. Hyperion, which technically should be in my pile of shame because I read the first chapter whenever I did a read chapter book tag where I was reading uh, five uh, popular sci-fi books and this was in there. Read the first chapter, realized it was kind of slow paced and I was kind of in, in a slump, hence that tag, right? And uh, I just never continued. And I've been really wanting to read this because again, it is such a sci-fi classic. So you can do this. Um, I have a feeling I will give this book five stars. So I mean, obviously, Let's do this. Uh, another one that I'm very excited for is The Toll by Neil Schusterman. This is the third book in the Sight trilogy. Or is it? I don't think that's actually the name. Arc of a Sight trilogy. Close enough. Uh, so that's the last one. It is humongous, but it is a YA sci-fi. So I feel like it's gonna be written kind of big and it's not gonna be too hard to go through. It has over 600 pages, so I take it back, I'm scared. So, <laughs> a lot of big books actually this month. Uh, so yes. I'm very excited for it. I I know that once I sit down and start it, I'm gonna be fine. I just need to like do this. So if you're looking for a really hard to put down uh, sci-fi, why sci-fi, definitely recommend this trilogy. Uh, there's a lot of political intrigue. It's a really interesting world where people don't die anymore and they have to have sight to just, you know, control the population. And some people might want to try and take control of that, you know, power. So at this point, it's not even funny anymore. I just need to actually read <laughs> Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky. This is book two in this duology. The first book is Children of Time. I've talked about it. None freaking stop. Giant intelligent spiders versus humans. What is not to like? I adore the first book. Incredibly unique. That ending blew my mind, took me by surprise. And since May last year, I got this when it came out. And it's been on my TBR pretty much... <laughs> every single month since and never did it because it's scary. Some people say that it's not as good as the first one, which has been my excuse to be scared to pick it up because I don't want to be disappointed because I love the first one so much. But uh, it is written actually pretty big, but it has again over 500 pages. So I'm definitely torturing myself this month, but it's good torture because I'm excited about it. I just need to get over my fear and finally read it because honestly, this is like the poster child of my pile of shame. I technically did not start it, but like, I've been wanting to read it every single month <laughs> for a year. I, it needs to happen in May, right? I got it in May. I've been talking about it since. We're finishing this. If I don't, oh my gosh. Quickly to the sci-fi that I had included in my TBR last month. I was going to say last year. And it's just about time I actually do read them because they have been on my shelf for a little while. They're not really well known, I feel like, on booktube, but personally, they have been on my list for a long time and you have Dragon's Egg, which is a first contact with Alien, which definitely in the mood for that all time. And then you have uh, A Fire Upon the Deep, which has been recommended to me a lot and I just need to read it. It's not too thick, like neither of these are that big. The first one, the second one is 400 pages and it's written small, so I take it back. But Dragon's Egg is pretty small. What you doing? 
read it. Now let's go to some of the books that I do have on my phone because like I said, I do tend to go through audiobooks faster than physical books even though I will have to do my darn, darn, darnest. I will try hard to uh, read them this month because again, getting over that fear and it's getting sunnier so I can actually go outside and just read and stop stressing. So yay. So I'm including a few audiobooks that are part of my uh, reading challenges for the year. That way it kind of feels like I'm completing, you know, my TBR, which is still kind of part of the goal. A little stretch, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. So <laughs> The Whisper Man, which was the winner, I believe, uh, when I asked you which one of these two books you want me to read between that and uh, Imaginary Friend, or was it Imaginary Friend? Well, both of them will be on my TBR. There you go. So these are both part of my Goodreads reading challenge for the year and actually might as well include that one because it says uh, available soon. Over the Top, which uh, is a book, is it in the biography section in my Goodreads reading challenge by one of the guys from uh, Queer Eyes, which I love that show. I need to actually finish it. So yes, it's very, very short. I think it's about six hours. It's an audiobook, like at 1.5. I will read this super fast. So can do that and it would be like one more book off my challenge list for the year. Okay, so those are all the books I'm hoping to read in the month of May. Is it doable? Absolutely not. Will I try? Yeah, of course. I don't even know what else to ask myself. Look, I'm stressed. It's gonna do fine, you know, we'll survive even if I don't. If I don't go through them next month, no, actually I have a different challenge next month, but next month later, uh, I can still attempt those because most of these are books that I really, really wanted to make a point to read in 2020, so it's okay. But we're gonna try our hardest. Let me know in the comment section actually, which one of these do I need to like put number one on my priority list? I have a feeling <laughs> it should be this one, but you choose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what books you want to read in the month of May. Do you want to try and participate in my challenge? Are there books that you've been putting off <laughs> for way too long? I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.